Hello, I'm Greg Reike of Reike Mods, and welcome to this brief video where we are going to be testing out the Mac OS 26 Tahoe beta build, beta 1 for developers, on one of the last supported Intel Macs by 2019 Mac Pro. This should be a fun time. Let's go. While we wait for this to download, let's briefly talk about Mac OS 26 Tahoe Beta 1. Uh, this is going to be the last uh, OS that supports Intel Macs. And this build has actually killed off a bunch of Macs that were still supported. It's killed off the iMac Pro. Um, it's killed off the 2018 Mac Mini, which is really hurts me because I just bought one last week. Um, Oh well. <laughs> um, and it's killed off a bunch of T2 Macs. Um, only T2 Macs that are still supported. This is actually probably one of the oldest ones. This is a 2019 Mac Pro. Uh, there's also the 16 uh, inch 2019 uh, MacBook Pro. Those two are the two oldest that are still supported. All the rest of them are 2020 um, Intel machines, I believe. And like. Um, when Sequoia came out, um, we've lost more support for T2 systems. In fact, all the systems that are Intel supported on this OS have to have a T2, but half the systems that had T2s don't support it anymore. So this is going to be an interesting build, and I'm hoping that it's not going to require T2, otherwise OCLP uh, will work up to Sequoia and it will never support the last build, aka Tahoe. So let's pray it doesn't require a T2 chip and um, let's get this installed. All right, so here we go. Let's type in our password here. Software update complete. Continue. Don't want to mess up my iCloud. I didn't enable Firevault, but okay. File Vault, whatever. Now, I've not done any research on this. And it's still got the Sequoia background. That's strange. Feedback Assistant. We got widgets. Cool. The UI has been very overhauled. Um, I have not done any research. I've done a little bit of light reading, um, thanks to Mark from uh, Lim, Low and Mac, uh, and also Super Ice Cream Sandwich. He uh, did a nice article talking about how it's brought back Aqua. And this is, it's different. So, yeah, uh, there, there's not much else to say about it. It's, it's a very different UI. Um, I don't even know where to begin. This is all laid out like the Apple Silicon, um, Silicon, whatever you call it, Apple Silicon um, Siri. The uh, newfangled Siri, the smart Siri, and the AI one. This has the same styling to it as I can see here. If we go down to Finder. Yeah, it's... It is different. Um, but, I mean, cool. Um, there's the weather app. That's different. Let's look at... Let's see here. Appearance. Let's go over to light and see what light looks like. Very, very bright. Super, super bright. Wow, is that white. And all these icons, I would have I have a feeling these are just going to be beta icons. They might be official icons, uh, but they are a little way out there in my opinion. Wow, this is really bright white. Yeah, this is going back to dark. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. But yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's it's basically built off of Sequoia. 
as you saw in the beginning there, um, with a different skin on it. But this OS is so different that I'm going to switch over the camera, wrap it up real quick, because uh, there's really nothing else here I can show you um, that I know of anyway. The new apps icon is different. That's different. But is there like no launcher? It's a search box now? Uh, huh. Well, that's different. Yeah, it's, it's really different. And uh, it's suggesting iPhone apps. What? This is weird. Um, so yes, it is different. Audio MIDI setup. I don't remember that. And yeah, it's probably MIDI. This is, this is a really weird looking OS compared to all the rest of the OSs we've had. This is the most changed since, um, I don't know. Oh, that's my photos. Neat. This is the most changed since um, Catalina came out, in my opinion. Catalina was a big difference. A lot of people didn't like the icons. They went back to the square icons. Um, I don't know if this is going to change, but uh, it is. It is very, very different. Um, uh, yeah. I wonder if calculator's different. It's the same calculator. This is, it's different, I'll tell you that. So, uh, let's wrap up the video. So, in conclusion, what do I think about Mac OS 26 Tahoe? It's very different. Um, there's so many things I should do research on, maybe do a more detailed video on it, but I just wanted to experience it. This OS is going to be the last Intel supported OS, and there's no guarantee that OCLP will support it. Um, and is that really a bad thing? Not super bad, because you've got to remember it like this. All the OCLP Macs will get security updates for two years. Also, um, the T2 MacBook Airs that got dropped in Sequoia um, have security updates for one more year. So even if OCLP doesn't support T2, you'll still get one more year of security updates on those systems. You'll still get two more years on the T2 systems that got dropped and uh, you'll get three more years on these systems that are still supported. Plus, of course, OCLP uh, supported Macs will also get those security updates for two more years. So it's not a huge loss, but I don't know how I feel about this OS because it's very different. It's a weird hybrid between Tiger styling shoot, even like Jaguar styling, and like Yosemite styling. When Yosemite came out, you know, it went all flat. Well, this is a weird bubbly flat version of all of that. So it's different, um, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully uh, OCLP does support T2 chips in the future. And we can get some of the systems like my Mac Mini I just bought to support this OS. And if it doesn't, I mean, it still has Sequoia. Plus, if you have a T2 Mac, it unofficially supports Windows 11. And um, we'll probably support Windows 12 unofficially. Plus, you got Windows 10 support for all the OCLP-supported Macs, um, which, of course, OS support, uh, the security updates stop in October of 25, but um, if you use the IoT LTSC, like on my early 2008 MacBook Pro, you'll get support until 2032. 
So either way, these systems aren't dead. Plus, you can still run Linux on most of them. Uh, the T2 chip and Macs are a little iffy on Linux, but the non-T2 chips, uh, Macs will run Linux with no problems. Runs Linux great. Runs Windows great. So um, even if we do lose Mac support, it's not the end of the, the life for your Mac. You can still have it be a very useful system for years to come. This system right here still has more horsepower than most systems that are coming out today. And um, that means it will be a very viable Windows machine for a very long time to come. Um, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a Mac. But what can you do? Anyway, so yeah, uh, Tahoe 26 is very different. It's going to be a very different experience. And uh, I am going to do some testing with it and see if I can't get it to um, maybe work on something it doesn't support yet. Um, I'm not holding my breath, but you never know. So yeah. That's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's not filmed super great. It's kind of shaky, but um, I just wanted to get this stuff out here before midnight, and uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of editing. It's probably still coming out after midnight, but yeah, Tahoe 26. Anyway, guys, don't forget, I have a Patreon memberships. You know how I do all that stuff. Please like, subscribe, and that's the end of today's video. This has been a Rake Mods video. They've even redesigned the shutdown window. That's different.